Hi everyone. Well, this is a video on uh, installing, setting up uh, smart cars, smart cars client to use to uh, track your flights so we can keep track of your hours here at Meridian. First of all, to find smart cars, smart cars is a preferred uh, client to use. We have K cars, but it's not quite as good as smart cars. But if you're still running like Windows XP, smart cars won't work. You have to use K cars with it. So if you're running Windows 7, Windows 8.1, Windows 10, use smart cars. So to download it, and first thing we need to do is go to Pilot Center and go to View Downloads. And we have Smart Cars link right here. But first of all, you have to be running FSUIPC for Smart Cars to work. So if you go to, uh, in, if you don't know if you have it running, you probably don't or have it loaded in FSX. But you can go to FSX, fire it up, and go to add-ons menu at the top and look and see if you have FSU IPC. If you don't, you can click on this link here and that'll take you to FSU IPC and download it and install it. It's free. Then download smart cars from here. Download it and run it. Once you get it running, let me minimize this. Let me go ahead and close this because once you install it, then you'll have a link on your uh, on your desktop for smart cars, and it'll look something like this: SC for smart cars. But if you double-click smart cars, It'll take a while to populate because right now it's downloading all the airports that we have and we have tens of thousands of airports. But uh, the first thing you need to do is log in and if you're not logged in it'll have a place to put in your username and password. And you can just type in your Meridian number like if your number uh, MVA015, you can just type in 15 and uh, the password, and that should work. If it doesn't work, type in your MVA015 or whatever your number is and try that. And uh, the first time you log in, you don't want to have uh, automatically log in checked. We've run into some problems with that get it up and running first and then uh, and then uh, check on or check your uh, login automatically button okay once you have it loaded up uh, you should get a page something like this it shows your total hours it'll probably be zero and uh, if uh, the first thing you would should have ha had done is uh, have a bid loaded up uh, and from the schedule, so you should have searched schedules and added that to a bid. So then if you go to flights and uh, refresh if you have to, it'll show your uh, bid of your schedule that you've selected, which I selected KMCI to KDEN. And uh, what you want to do is highlight that and then click Fly. And this will bring up the flight information. Your call sign, departure and arrival information, your distance, and your preferred aircraft. Now if you're going to fly a 737, and as I explained in earlier videos, these aircraft classes have to do with how much money is going to be made on the flight. So if you're going to fly a 737, you may want to pick uh, a small jet. And you notice this is saying flying offline as opposed to flying in VATSIM. You'll just leave that there unless you're using VATSIM. This is the number of people on the flight, 218, and this is your altitude. 
So if you're going to be flying at uh, 30,000 feet, type that in. You don't have to put in a route or anything else. Just, uh, just this stuff here. And once you have FSX loaded up and ready to go, which I will do. Okay, in FSX I've got a flight loaded up. I purposely loaded it up at Denver instead of Kansas City to show you what happens when you click on start. So you must be at the departure airport for this to work. So let me change airports. Alright, and now I'm loaded up at the correct airport. And uh, once you've uh, got your plane all set up, ready to pull, ready to fly, ready to take off, click on the start morning, button. And and your stewardess Ensure will start talking to you, and you'll see the ACARS information start right popping up. And store your luggage in either the overhead bin now what or uh, happens, if you're next to an exit, uh, let me turn this volume of this gal down a little bit. What can also happen uh, in ACARS is there's uh, a chat feature that will allow you to chat with other people that are on smart cars, which is kind of cool. And you can have private conversations with people in the VA. Uh, should have our name if there's anybody else online, which there isn't. But there's a Every time there's a, somebody puts in a chat message, this thing will ding, make a very annoying noise. So what you want to do is go to settings, go to sounds, and uncheck play global message sound. That'll get rid of that ding that will drive you nuts. And uh, fly your flight. That's all you have to do. You can minimize this or move it down out of the way, whatever you want to do. With your finished with the flight, click on finish. Of course, it's not going to let me because I haven't taken off yet. Click on finish and it'll pop up and say file PyRep. Click on file PyRep and it'll tell you that the PyRep has been filed. And um, We'll take a look at your PyREP and approve it. And that's all there is to setting up and running uh, smart cars.